opportunity. With this note, I would like to welcome our respected man, Srimati S.H. Lagadi, Chief Nursing Officer in charge, the president of today's program. We celebrate your leadership and you keep on influencing us. We welcome you all.
So I have noticed few beautiful personality among the nursing staff. Due to despite all odds, despite shortage of manpower, with all your dedication and hard work, I would like to thank all the nursing staff for containing this pandemic in cooperation with the doctor fraternity as well as with the administration. So during my short stint, I have seen the work you have performed from the bottom of your heart, lest you will not be able to contain the pandemic and I request you to keep it up and then let us unite to make rings sign for bright pictures. Saying this few words, I would like to, come to conclude my speech. Thank you. God bless you all. Respected uh, uh, Director Sir, uh, is, uh, is Santosu. President, uh, Chief Nursing Officer, and uh, our guest of honor, uh, Deputy Director Sir, and, uh, Dr. L. Trinity, Nursing Superintendent, as Gang uh, Ganga Devi, Consultant Establishment, Mr. Uh, K. Kipchen. Wishing you all a very happy International Nursing Day. I, uh, I won't take much time. Uh, I just uh, <clears throat> want to be very thankful to the RIMS Nursing Association for giving me the opportunity to celebrate this International Nursing Day with you all. Thank you very much, sisters. Actually, May 12 is observed as the International Nursing Day across the world to honor the services of, nursing, uh, of the nurses. Uh, it is, uh, as you uh, other also has mentioned, it is the birth anniversary of uh, Florence Nightingale, the English social reformer who is the founder of the modern nursing. And the theme for the International Nurses Day 2022 is a voice to lead, investing in nursing and respect, right to secure global health, which is focusing in the need to protect, uh, support, and invest in the nursing profession so as to strengthen the health delivery system around the world. Uh, in short, it means uh, we should invest in nursing and respecting the uh, rights of every nurses. And for uh, this is for the upliftment and uh, uh, for better health care delivery across the globe. And uh, I'm very fortunate uh, enough to work with all the seasonal strategies around the names during the COVID pandemic. From the juniors to the seniors, we in the green zone, red zone, ICU, they all work very hard. They all work tremendously hard and to try to save each and every patient's COVID patients. They have got the burdens of harassment from every patient party 
they have to wear inside uh, to wear PP and go inside, stay there for a long time. Caring and nursing is in every COVID and suffering patients. They really work hard during the pandemic. Uh, it's a really worth appreciation to all the nurses of the rooms. Inviting for me for being a part of this function. And I'm very happy and delighted to be here also. As we all know that healthcare, we need certain things like doctors, staff, nurses, and other professionals. You people, sisters, staff, nurses are the backbone. Rings as such is a big family, a health family, where we stay as a family members. And it's quite natural for the family members to quarrel, to argue, but in the end, it's for the upliftment, for the betterment of all of us. Among the staff nurses also, we have seen staff with extraordinary skills from whom we have learned in maybe labor room, ICU, and other workplaces. And in today's celebration, we all remember Florence Nightingale. I may not mention, mention about Florence Nightingale because everyone knows and all of you know who is Florence Nightingale. She was the one who started this modern nursing and who has set certain standards which we are following and which we are trying to follow also. Your importance has been seen during the wars, during the pandemic, and the recent example is the COVID pandemic, where we have seen how much you have worked and how sacrifice, how much sacrifice you have done. Catherine has rightly described, a nurse is a person strong enough to tolerate everything and soft enough to understand. I, as a part of the family of dreams, appreciate all your dedication and work and I once again appreciate you for your dedication towards your job which is really marvelous and praiseworthy. Last to say happy nurses day to all the nurses of RIMS and thank you for inviting me in this international nurses day. May God bless you all. Thank you. Sincerely with punctual, help, helping hand to the colleagues with disciplining the Lunana, Kukuna Mouth service of Minasi. Nursing service, service the Kukuna, Kakoka Magalunana, duty, Hazana Tominasi, and the COVID 19 pandemic, the Su, a Sukumasi, my uncle, one member, Adua Masi, Amutu Hanbal, the Rapai, Konagini. Last but not least, on behalf of the Nursing Association, I am the Professor A. Santa Sengu, Mankhai Dekhan Thakachari, Marandi, Rims Hospital, General OPT Mama, Amadi, Gaini, OPT Kinakanda, Rup Kabar Pri Horo, Sabiduna, Paul Sabiduda, Public, Amasung Pashan Pradishin Ko, Asukum Matik, Yaam Nato Kutribur, Oibabamunda, Ambi Bukhi Dama, we are Fully proud of him. Aduga, Nasiki, Pansan Nasibu, fully successful in the Bukhi Dama, they are Pulamasu Hakasari. Being a nurse is a very special calling. It is a call from God. Today we are paying tribute to and saluting the dedicated nurses who have been making a real contribution and dedication to the health system in our country and the world, even during the time of COVID-19 pandemic. 
very very honored to be here on the International Nurses Day, celebrated by the our staff nurses. Of course, they started celebrating for last one week. Today is the concluding day, and uh, the day very very important. And uh, I, I also thought that this is the after two three waves of COVID. This is the first time I am interacting with masses with the all staff nurses. Of course, uh, every time whenever I come to work, I interacted with the, all, all the staff nurses or they come to my office. Then those are only very few or something. But then it's just I am not able to meet the, all those nurses on this like a mass occasion. And uh, we thought that we'll be expressing some of them um, what our feeling and everything. So I'm very, very fortunate and today you have uh, organized uh, this one, International Nurses Day. I thought that this occasion is very, very important and this will motivate the, our staff also. So I was, uh, when the association come to me, I was so eagerly happy and uh, to grant the fund for this also and uh, to, to go ahead also. Uh, uh, because everybody knows that nursing profession is a novel profession and all of them, when we have done so many research and we found that uh, nurse, uh, patient care, one of the most important is the nursing care. In fact, nursing is the one who always monitors 24 hours patients. Doctors comes only, sometimes only like that, but the remaining all has to be monitored by the nurses. And the more the nursing care, better the outcome of the disease and outcome of the patient um, improvement. So, and most of the uh, image of the hostel also created by the nurses. And today we saw so many lovely, so many beautiful dresses, all are coming like this. And this is encouraging me. And uh, plus when you do very, very sincere work here, and it's a very, very challenging, particularly, say, Florence Nightingale was working during the war, but then DB has just told, even I told this place, this year and the last year, we have faced the three times COVID. It was just like war only. Nurses, they say, every year, uh, Thank you. 